Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beer Adventurer. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, I'm finally doing Magic Hat number nine. Yeah. This is pale ale, 5% alcohol. This is one of the old school, like, craft beers. And I've heard they've been bought out. Um, I don't really care. What's inside the cap? It says words. Be alert, not... Now, it's the not quite pale ale. And, you know, this was one of the first craft beers I ever had. Um, now, I, I was told not too long ago. Yeah, seriously, so be alert, not hurt. I think so. Um, hey, crown cap collectors, uh, it's a pretty cool looking cap. Very mesmerizing. Um, pale ale with natural flavors. Now, this was one of those, this was one of the first beers that I heard about a lot. And I sought out and I tried and I thought it was neat. And, you know, of course, other things superseded it, this, that, and the other. But uh, I was up in Asheville, saw it. Um, uh, I don't think it's available in this area. It might be in Memphis or Nashville, but, you know, I saw it out of our market, but not too far out of our market and went, man, never reviewed that. It's been so long since I had it. Let me just grab that. Um, Um, I don't know what that flavor is that I don't like, but then there's something I don't like. I understand. It's a little funky for me. It's got the funk. It does seem to have a little smidge of funk. And like I said, that, that's weird. I don't see any date, anywhere. Any date anywhere on it. Um, it's like everybody puts a date on their stuff now. There is not one. There is no date. And I'll be honest, it's been so long since I've had one. Mm -hmm. I remember when I had one, I was like, wow, that's a lot of flavor. That's, that's really different. But when I had one was at the kind of beginning of my craft beer journey. Okay. Uh, this was, oh gosh. It was probably early 2000s. Mm. Um, mm. I don't know what it is. There's something in there that I don't like. The aftertaste is not bad. Mm -mm. Um, I would I would be hesitant to think that it's skunked, but. That's just me going by what it is. I mean, here's the thing. If you guys say there's no skunky flavor in it, but then they're, maybe they're, we need to try another then one. maybe we need to try another one. Right. Um, let me know down in the comments. But, but there's a little bit of a skunky. And the smell and the taste. Yeah. Um, you know how kind of like Corona has that little yeah. bit of Corona funk? funk? This has almost got a little Corona funk. Yeah. Not a whole lot. But it's there. But it's there. Um I mean, I don't know. It, it's kind of weird because, like, the more you drink it, the less funky it tastes. I know that was what I was gonna say. Really? Okay, yeah. so it's not just me. No, it's like not that just first me. drink. You're just like, what the what? But literally, it's, like, I've the drank more, more of you it. drink it, the less funky it's weird. it tastes. It's kind of better every drink I take of it. I don't know if it was always like that. I don't know. That's fucking weird. Like it's, that's dead and weird. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's still there, but it's just like, it's not such a big thing. I don't yeah. know. It's just weird. It's like it's not as important as it was the first time. I, I don't know. Maybe it's because you have that aftertaste still in your mouth and that 
I don't know. I don't every drink is getting this. every drink is getting better. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like I'm not upset, but I'm not sure. Yeah. If I have like a quality one. Right. Um there's nothing. And like I said, I don't hate it. I'm just not no, it's just, I'm, I'm not, just not excited. I'm not so excited. Um It's okay. I do remember when I tried it, I was like, wow, that's really good. It's from Rochester, New York. But that was a long time ago and to be honest like my beer experiences have gone you know it's it's huge since then right your palate has like changed, changed. and yeah. you know i've i've just i've had so many i i just like trying different beers it's it's just it's fun for me that's why i started doing the the videos um if you guys think that I've gotten a bad, bad one, one, I'll hunt another one. Yeah. Like actively. Yeah. And do another video. But we uh, certainly don't want to be unfair. And we'll even denote that, hey, check this other video. Mm -hmm. But uh you know, I'm not upset with this beer, I don't but I'm hate just hate it, but it's just I'm not as I did expect a little, I was hoping for a little better. Yeah. And it's just kind of okay mm -hmm. today. Now, I will say we've done a few other videos beforehand, and most of the videos that we did were, they were, they were fucking hits. They were like, yeah. But, you know. They can't all be winners. Yeah. So... I'm going to put what I can find in the description. You're also going to find my uh, my links, social media, merch, all that good stuff. Uh, check out my merch store. Designs that I've done, uh, it's a print-on-demand. They put on stickers, um, what T-shirts, hoodies, all that. If you buy it, I get some money. I'm going to buy more beer. Um, I'm going to do more videos. I promise you, I'm going to spend that money on beer like a hobo. Uh, um <laughs> Don't cancel me. Um, now, like I said, let's talk about that down in the comments. And let's get down to it. Did you dig it? Yeah. I'm kind of at a meh. Yeah. The more I, I like it, it, the better I, it was. It's, but... it's, it's acceptable. All right. But I seem to remember me enjoying it more. Okay. And if, if we've... If the beer store I bought this at sold me an old one would be kind of sad i'm willing to do it again right i have no problem with that you can do it with lunchbox and come. <laughs> oh whatever okay um but you know would i drink it again i would and if you guys tell me we're wrong on this one I, i'm if you tell me i'm wrong then, 100%. I'll, then i'll definitely try it again but okay um and we're going to leave the rest of the qualifi qualifiers out. Let's just get right down to the numerical rating. One to ten. Five. I'm a little more than a five. Just because it has a little more flavor than like That's Miller Lite. Wow. I don't okay. like that song. I, I understand. And I don't like the smell. See, I, I was somebody that didn't terribly mind I'm, the Corona phone. See, I'm not a huge Corona fan because of the font. Smell it now. And I, don't, I don't think it has as much. And Moose Head, I don't like because of the font. No, it doesn't smell as funky. Taste it again. Maybe this is one of those that didn't, it needed to be not cold. Maybe. I don't know. Taste it. It's still funky, but. Well, let no one say we 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 didn't try. We we don't like. I had somebody say one time, "Oh, you give too high ratings." I was like, "No, I generally pick out beers I know I'm going to enjoy." <laughs> right. I don't enjoy just dogging on beers. No, 
that's that's not what we want to do. I don't. I don't. Know. Mm -mm. I'm at a six. Okay. It's okay. It's better. It's better than average. It's not great. Well, there you have it, folks. Until your next beer adventure. Right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can have that. Cheers. Cheers.